one at 288 Business up there where we work a lot of bricks. There's a bunch of construction up there right now. Not really sure uh, anything about injuries or anything like that. So if you would, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. We are headed that way. Thanks for watching, guys. Pulling on scene now. Let's see what we got here. Looking for a black Jeep. Looks like maybe that one there facing the wrong way. Yep. This one here? I pull up here and see what we got. It's uh, pretty wet and muddy out here, so. Looks like it uh, spun the wrong way, so I'm gonna assume that it's probably not drivable, considering that it looks like it slid across over there from the other side of the road. Yeah, the lights, the guardian angels. Morning. 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 I feel like I feel like we seen each other recently, huh? Shut up. <laughs> Hadn't been going through no more mud puddles. Oh, it, I'm gonna go put out some stupid um, It happens. What was that man? Yeah, let me grab you one. Um, I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm out of the Campbell's business cards, but if you want to take a picture of the toolbox, it's got all the same info on it. Need to replenish those. Um, that 701. South Alaska address, that's where to be going, and our phone number is right here on the side of the bed. Um, just watch your back, there's cars coming behind you there. But yeah, that, and that phone number there, that's our, that's our business phone number. Uh, We're in neutral with the parking brake set, which is what we want at the moment. So I want it to come 
the rear end to come over. ditch here a little bit. I'm going to have to straighten myself underneath it. slot or something. on it. 
we will be good to go. At least get us clear of the accident scene. Where we can strap it down the rest of the way. Figure out if we got any more clean up. Help with some of the cleanup once we get clear of the scene, and we'll finish strapping it down. There's all kinds of stuff over here. Morning. Another day. Right. <laughs> right. And you got this much stuff spread everywhere. One of these days, I'll invest in a leaf blower don't have very much room to store everything like that those bigger tools
There's stuff everywhere. on the next one. <laughs> Appreciate it. I gotta carry that thing all the way back. Y'all good with me? Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. All right. We got this one loaded up. Roadway's clean. We are going to head back towards the yard. Back at the central yard. This thing uh, unstrapped. This uh, it's probably about 7:30 or so now this morning. Rush hour. Work traffic. That uh, stretch of 521 is. Really bad, known for accidents. This one kind of uh, fought us a little bit because of the angle of that ditch. So this front wheel is facing out. That one's facing out. So even though trying to steer it, wasn't really going to steer anywhere because they were both fighting each other. That one I would assume probably doesn't roll very well. Uh, Because the angle of that ditch, it just wanted to keep dragging down the edge of the ditch, so I had to kind of straighten myself up underneath it a little bit there. Get a little 
little bit of slack in the chain there so I can get it off. Straighten up all my chains. Get everything back where it should be. This one I'm gonna assume probably won't roll off too well. Both of those front tires back the way they are, so we'll have to walk out from underneath this one. So I left myself a little bit of a angle here where I can get it right to where I want the front tires to be at. Assuming it's not going to want to roll very well. Here it says a little bit of extra angle. about as far as she's gonna go so I'm going to get the blocks of wood chalk in front of the tire there so it doesn't want to roll away on us beat out a little bit of slack with the winch right Pull the bed out. That other front tire over there is flat and turned the opposite way, so I'm not really too concerned with it wanting to roll on it. So I'm walking the truck now. don't have my other camera set up this morning if you watch some of my other recent videos you'll see how I walk the truck from the external view basically use the hydraulics to pick the rear end of the truck up it's no longer touching the ground use the hydraulics to push the truck forward rather than pull the bed in or she could do the opposite where you pull the truck under something and we can walk it under a vehicle which is helpful in some situations I've got a recent video on that as well it's about as far as we're gonna get it in push forward one more time set it back down right to the edge of the bed there. I'm gonna walk truck this one last time. Doing it like that keeps the uh, bed a really low, as low as possible as a loading angle as you can. Which comes in handy for other little cars. Pull the bed out from under the tires, set them on the ground. And we can get our hooks off. A bunch of mud and stuff on the bed here. Have to go wash off. First thing in the morning. I'm 
going to get nine pound paperwork and everything all done here again I do know there were some injuries involved with this accident I don't know if it was with this vehicle or the other one please keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers we will see you all in the next one thanks for watching guys